How rich is Shaq? Well Shaq is worth more than 300 million dollars. And that was after he captured four NBA championships. You might remember Shaq for breaking multiple backboards throughout his professional career. Or the time he busted his ass on television. Born in Newark, New Jersey, Shaq loved watching cartoons as a child especially Spider-Man. Before the age of 12 he moved to West Germany with his family, due to his father being stationed at the army base. During his early teenage years, Shaq grew to an incredible height of 6'6 which sometimes made him feel uncomfortable. Due to his large stature his father started teaching him basketball, and Shaq took quite a bit of interest. Shaq attended Fulda American High School in Germany where he worked on developing his athletic ability. Although he failed to make the basketball team his freshman year, Shaq never quit and continued playing, until he met the legendary coach Dale Brown who gave him life-changing pointers. At the age of 15, Shaq along with his family moved back to the United States, and began residing in San Antonio, Texas. Shaq attended Cole High School where he was not only a top student but a star athlete as well. He continued to grow and during his junior year stood 6 feet 10 inches. In Shaq's two years with Cole High, the basketball team only lost a single game. During his senior year, Shaq led the team to an undefeated season and ultimately won the Texas State Championship, turning Shaq into a highly regarded NBA prospect. Following graduation in 89 Shaq made the decision to attend Louisiana State University to study business. During his time at LSU Shaq maintained a 3.0 GPA and sat front row in all of the classes. In his freshman year, he played well but failed to get a chance to dominate across the entire floor. Shaq scored with ease in his sophomore season, which made him one of the most dominant players in the country. His highlight films were played on television almost daily, but in his junior year, he faced relentless pressure on the court, the word was quickly spreading about the spotlight on Shaq and other players tried their best to get in the way. Even with being double teamed almost every game Shaq managed to win NCAA Player of the Year award in 1991. Following the regular season, Shaq announced that he would not return to LSU to finish his final year, but would in fact be moving on to the NBA. In 1992 with the first pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic selected Shaq for 40 fucking million dollars. Just 20 years at the time, Shaq signed a 13 million dollar deal with Pepsi, a 15 million dollar shoe line with Reebok, another 20 million dollars from his toys, and this was all before he even played his first NBA game. In his rookie year Shaq averaged 23 points per game, won the Rookie of the Year honors, and made the All-Star team, becoming the first player since MJ. Off the court Shaq was a huge attraction, he started in multiple commercials, movies and even dropped a platinum selling album, called Shaq Diesel, all of which was frowned upon by hardcore basketball fans who thought he was not serious about the NBA. The following season Shaq proved all of his doubts as wrong by leading Orlando to their first franchise playoff appearance, but they were eliminated by the Pacers in the first round. In just his third season, Shaq made the All-Star team for the third straight year, and rallied Orlando to the NBA Finals, but this time the Magics were swept by the Rockets. In his last season with the franchise, Shaq along with the Magics made it to the Eastern Conference Finals but they were no match for the famous 95-96 Bulls who swept them in four games. In 1996 Shaq became a free agent, and on the first day of the Olympics, it was announced that Shaq had signed a seven-year deal with the Lakers worth $121 million. 
Although he missed 30 games due to injuries, Shaq managed to drop 46 points on his first playoff appearance as a Laker. The following season Shaq averaged 28 points a game, and made it to the playoffs but the Lakers were swept by the Jazz once again. Prior to the famous 99 season, the Lakers acquired head coach Phil Jackson, which ultimately changed a lot of players' lives. During the season Shaq managed to become the most valuable player in the league, just a single vote behind unanimous. With Phil Jackson's triangle offense, and the heavyweight duo of Shaq and Kobe, led the Lakers to a three-peat championship streak. Making Shaq the NBA Finals MVP for three years straight. Following his championship run with the Lakers, Shaq demanded a trade from the club due to leadership roles in the locker room. In 2004 Shaq was traded to Miami for a multiplayer deal, and a year later he signed an extension with the Heat for $100 million. Two years later Shaq led the Heat to their first NBA Finals appearance, and ultimately secured his fourth championship defeating the Mavericks. Following his run with the Heat, Shaq was traded to several other teams from Phoenix, Cleveland and Boston, but he failed to secure a fifth championship. But all is well for Shaq because he is rich as fuck. Currently Shaq still earns $5 million a year from TNT and the NBA as a broadcaster. Not to mention Shaq literally earns a fuck ton of cash from endorsement deals. He makes a combined $30 million a year from just his endorsements, along with an additional $90 million from his product sales which are scattered across all departments. Currently Shaq owns multiple mansions across the United States, along with a handful of expensive cars. And let's not forget, Shaq charges minimum a million dollars for a movie role. Just a fun fact. Shaq and I have been friends for years. We first met at the NBA All-Star Game, I was kicking it with MJ when Shaq came over and introduced himself. When he became a free agent, it was none other than your boy Alfred, who personally went down to the Staples Center almost on a weekly basis, and made sure Lakers got Shaq even if it meant putting up my own money. In conclusion Shaq is making more money, endorsing more products, and acting a fool more than you and I combined. Don't forget to subscribe for more because Shaq and I are kicking it. Thanks for watching your boy Alfred, and please don't forget to subscribe for more. I just wanna get that money. I just wanna get that money, flip that money. I just wanna stack the money. I just wanna spaz out, cash out. I just wanna get that money. I just wanna get that money, flip that money. I just wanna stack the money. I just wanna spaz out, cash out I'm a young nigga, I just wanna live I just wanna chill, smoking loud in a foreign wheel Independent, I don't wanna deal I just want a meal, plus I'm hungry I just want a meal, I ain't eat yet I been up all night, I ain't sleep yet And I need rest, but my dreams I ain't reach yet